The creatures of the void have existed since before the dawn of the universe as polar opposites of the benevolent light and seek to devour all matter and energy. However, these creatures generally only exist on their own plane of existence and it is very difficult for them to manifest in the physical universe. Only the most powerful of the Void Lords can do so voluntarily and only for a limited time and if they consume enough in order to maintain their presence. In order to facilitate their entry, the Void Lords have attempted to corrupt the Titans, either directly, which proved unsuccessful, or by creating the Old Gods and sending them to infest unborn Titans. In fact, the whole purpose of Sargeras' Burning Crusade is to prevent the Void from gaining a foothold in the universe by destroying it first. Other powerful manifestations of the Void Lords do exist, the most infamous of which was Dementius the Old Devouring, an extremely powerful creature known for destroying the homeworld of the Ethereals and for wreaking havoc across other worlds in the Great Dark, it nonetheless was described as mere, quote, fragments, shadows, the faintest of echoes. By their very nature, void creatures are chaotic beings often in conflict with each other despite the common goals they might share. The most notable example of this, perhaps, was the conflict between the old gods of Azeroth, who constantly warred with each other during the days of the Black Empire and did not work together effectively against the armies of the Titans. Another example are the creatures known as Void Lords, who need very little persuading to divulge information about their rivals to mortals. The Void has succeeded in corrupting worlds before and twisting their inhabitants. Void revenants seem to be the remnants of one such species overtaken by the Void and seem to share the same desires as other Void creatures, namely consuming and absorbing everything. Void revenants seem to specialize in tearing holes in reality and summoning other Void creatures. Ironically enough, the Burning Legion has been known to use Void Walkers and other Void creatures on occasion, usually binding them to their will, as Azerothian warlocks do with their own minions. The most recent example of this was Zul Horak, summoned by Gul'dan in Hellfire Citadel. The Dreadlord homeworld of Nafreza was also guarded by, among other demons, a number of Void Walkers, noted for being slow and easily bypassable. A special kind of Void creature are the Void Callers, similar to Void Walkers but focused on spellcasting instead of physical combat. What is notable about them, however, are the lanterns they carry over their shoulders, which bridge the realms of the living and the dead. These lanterns often attract wayward ghosts and spirits, which are then consumed by the Void. When a spirit is consumed by the Void, however, they become Void Wraiths, Echoes of the Soul. These Void Raids are not truly alive in either the physical or the spiritual sense and are merely the, quote, twisted reverberation of the anguish left behind by the soul as it is consumed. <laughs> 